Welcome back to Bullet Counter Gaming. This is, of course, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We have a Discord. The link is in the description below. It's also on the front of the channel. Now, this video is all about where are the enemy boats. Now, the reason why I want to look at this is because it's something that I've been talking about for some time, that I believe we should have enemy boats. So let's start at the very beginning. When did we first see boats in this game? Well, very briefly here. Um, this was from the very original trailer, just a few seconds there. Um, so that was probably most likely um, you and your team using two boats, but that was the first time that we saw boats within the trailer. Now, obviously, people might think, why do you need enemy boats when you have the drone swarm? That was the point of it. It doesn't need enemies on the water. Well... I disagree because, I mean, there are helicopter patrols and you could argue the same fact. Why do you need helicopter patrols? Um, yes, yeah, some of the bigger, larger helicopters may be to, to carry things around or carry people around, but the patrols, not really. If you've got a drone swarm, um, they effectively could do the same thing. But let's have a look at the map, for example. Um, look at the amount of water that there is. I just feel that it is something that would add a completely different gameplay dynamic, something that's sorely missing. There's all that water and nothing to do on it. Um, yes, you can get in a boat, um, and but the problem is, is that you're out there on a boat, and like I said, the only kind of action that you're going to get is an enemy helicopter patrol. You're not really going to get anything else happen out there. I mean, if you decide to jump into a boat from the main island to Gollum Island, for example, that's quite a long little journey that you've got there. And absolutely nothing happens during that time. Um, and, and it's just, I just think it's kind of disappointing. You know, if you're doing, um, whether you're into Milsim or you just kind of play arcade style, it really doesn't matter. That would have been fun. I mean, how I, I think, would have done it would probably have been to utilise um, maybe three different enemy classes of uh, ve uh, vessels so there's two here in this picture for example and they look ideal to me i would have probably had one smaller boat which was more of a kind of an attack craft which had the speed and just had some you know maybe a rotary cannon or something like that attached to it and then I would have had um, a slightly bigger boat, which was more to do with um, transporting personnel rather than weaponry. So it was a bit slower, um, like the, the second one in this picture here. Um, but that one, I mean, that one would have been ideal. So I could have, you could have probably set them up, for example, that they're doing crossings between Gollum and the main island, carrying equipment, things like that. And then I would have gone with a an even bigger boat, which would have had more people and more weapons, something that would have been a real challenge and somewhere where you'd have actually been able to climb on board, take out the personnel on board and obviously take the boat for yourself. And I would have made these a bit more scarce and so not so many of them, almost like a little command boat, which is like this one that you're looking at now. Um, something like that. I mean, I'm completely open to ideas here, but... You know, I'd really like to kind of push this idea onto Ubisoft and say, you know, surely it's not too late. And when it comes down to it, I'll be honest, I'll accept any form of enemy boat at the moment because I think it would really change the action in the game. You know, when you get in a boat now and you want to travel from A to B, that instead of there being absolutely nothing you now got these patrol boats around and you've got to try and mind out of the way. And if they see you, they'll chase you down um, and, you know, have some firepower on board. Most of the boats that you've got um, in the game available to you are pretty kind of lame. You've got speed boat, you've got a dinghy, you haven't really got... And in fact, there is a, uh, the, you know, there are a couple of boats that look like they could be used by a Sentinel, but are not. Um, and for me, the fastest fix for this would be to use the boat on the thumbnail. Now, that boat is from Wildlands, and that boat was used in the mission Boat Ride, where you had to go down to Kamanes, and you had to steal that boat, and you had to get it to the CIA 
um, or you had to drop it off because the CIA wanted to look over the boat and things like that. Now, that boat, as you can see here, is pretty simplistic in a way, and it actually looks very similar to some wrecked boats that you can see around Aroa. There's a few of them about. Now, that's just got a, like a rotary cannon on the front and two on the back. So they could have that in the world with four personnel on it, a driver and three gunners. So if you came across them, they really would kind of, they could really possibly kick your ass. Um, now, you know, that would be simplistic. They've created this boat. Even if they just use that one, the asset already exists. And we know that they've used assets from Wildlands because they used the small wooden boat with the little outboard motor. It's the same one from Wildlands that's in Breakpoint. So why can't they use this one and just put it in the world, program it to just, you know, patrol around the main island? I mean, that's literally all we really needed. Um, and when it comes down to it, it would just really change the way the game works, I think, the way that you play the game. Anyway, that was just my idea. What would you guys like to see? Would you guys like to see boats? How would you make them work? What type of boats would you like? Um, let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss. Would you like to see boats in the game? Because I definitely would. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.